guys what is up back with another video this one's a little bit different we're just going to be talking about carts and if you couldn't tell from the title uh the video is about why people buy carts you know as much as i would like to make a video telling you the the dangers of smoking carts or whatnot and you know like all these other weetubers stop blinkers and stuff which i've never said i've never said stop doing blinkers i've just said moderate your blinker use and obviously you know wait in between blinkers but i've never said stop doing blinkers because at the end of the day if you buy your own cartridge and it's a legal cartridge someone's gonna tell you how to smoke you know what i mean like obviously you know if you're smoking a fake cartridge oh yeah then i will tell you don't smoke a fake cartridge but if you're buying a real cart smoke it how you want you bought it you spent your own money on it like who am i to tell you what to do with your own product you know what i mean so that's what i wanted to talk about in today's video i do have a cart but we're going to do something different because you know i've been getting age restricted lately and obviously my videos should get age restricted because you know it's you know marijuana content and stuff like that but uh you know i'm gonna just see and test it out i'm not gonna show what the cart is that because uh, I haven't uploaded the video. I want to upload the video of this cart first. It's a cart that, you know, people uh, will want to see a video on. But just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I won't be showing the cart, but I will be showing the battery. You guys know about the Vivant Vault SC battery. It is a customizable battery that you can put any word or phrase on here. And if you're interested in that, link will be down in the pinned comments below. But yeah, let's take a hit. <coughs> All right, so yeah, why do people buy cartridges in the first place? If they, oh, we're talking about like real carts here, not fake cartridges. And people are probably like, well, you tell people how to smoke or whatever all the time. I'm, I'm not, I've never said that. I'm just saying if they're smoking fake cartridges, there's better alternatives. Stop smoking fake cartridges. That's all I'm saying. But if you have a real cart, you bought it yourself, you have your own dab, you know, I mean, smoke it how you want. What I'm really tired is people thinking that just cause they smoke better stuff, and just tell everyone to you know smoke what they're smoking like that that i have a problem with that's just like some superiority complex type shit that you know i i don't really fuck with you know if you've spent money on your own product use it how you want but also be aware of you know the certain things that come along with that certain product you know like cartridges and you know overheating it too much and too many blinkers and metals linking and stuff you know it just you just got to be aware of that as a consumer but for someone like to tell people how to smoke things or like if someone's smoking i've mentioned this before someone that smokes rosin or dabs rosin they're always just like oh i don't fucking you know dab with people that smoke live resin look shut the fuck up all right no one gives a fuck if you smoke rosin that's good for you you can afford it but people get what they want not everyone's gonna have the same opinion not everyone's gonna have the same budget but when you start telling people hey you should smoke this because this and that, but they're already getting some stuff that's still pretty decent. Like, shut the fuck up. No one cares, okay? Um, but yes, back to the topic of the video. Why do people buy carts? Mostly because they are on-the-go people. There are people that maybe, you know, don't have time to go home and they're out of the city and they want something to smoke on. They don't want to buy a bong. They don't want to buy a rig just to, you know, dab something real quick. So a cartridge is just an easy alternative, you know. A lot of people use cartridges throughout the day. Some people will abuse them, you know, that's, that's just facts. But some people will use them accordingly, you know, maybe one hit every two to three hours or so. Or maybe two hits every three, you know, depending on your tolerance. But that's okay, you know, at the end of the day, it's your cartridge, you bought it, do whatever the fuck you want with it. But at the end of the day, you know, just be aware of that product you're using and just try to maintain it, you know. You know, don't abuse it with so many blinkers in a row where you're tasting the burnt coil, uh, the oil is starting to turn dark, you know. It's just, just be considerate of the oil that's left in there. And uh, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to make this quick video and say like for you know all these people are saying don't do blinkers or whatever and stuff oh carts are the worst way to you know take oil or whatever it probably is but it's the most convenient way to take oil and sometimes you gotta give a little to take a little you know what i mean so that's what i wanted to say in today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and uh yeah if you did enjoy these types of videos where it's more so just me talking kind of like a but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, just a quick one, uh, I just wanted to get my, my thoughts out on, you know, but a lot of people are just saying like I was joining this stop blinker movement, even though I'm still like partially uploading blinker videos and stuff, 
No, I never said that. I just said in moderation and always consider the coil in the cartridge, you know. Would it be smart to do a blinker right after you did a blinker? Probably not, you know. So wait 10 minutes, you know, wait a couple minutes, you know, wait at least something. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace out.